What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a website in Dreamweaver CS5 and Dropbox and also um, a .tk. So I'm going to show you how to get a .tk and use Dropbox in the process and also um, taking a uh, HTML uh, template off the internet, editing it and making your own website. So what we're going to need is Dropbox. You can go ahead and Google Dropbox uh, right off the line. I can see here dropbox.com go ahead and click it download it for Windows, Mac, Linux and mobile and uh, it's very uh, easy uh, installation um, it's free it gives you two gigs with the internet online it's actually pretty nice I use it all the time so once you get Dropbox downloaded you can go to freehtmotemplates.com I will link down below to both websites if you go ahead and download those um, I went ahead and clicked one of, clicked this one this one looks the nicest and uh, it gives you a nice demo here. You can, you can go ahead and uh, pop through different things here. Go about products, home support. Of course, these are not uh, added up yet. Um, you got your two advertisements and copyright stuff like that. Um, and uh, go ahead and download it. So once you got your HTML uh, template on your desktop and you have your Dropbox installed, what you need to do is extract this uh, template. Extract files. Click OK them. Now once you got that extracted, I highly recommend saving the zip file. Um, don't delete it because if you mess up, um, you want to start over again, um, you can. So once you got that extracted, you can open up and you can see here's another one. Um, you can see you got your index, that is your main page. You have your print style. Uh, these two are basically like your layouts. So this will give you uh, that nice look behind it. This will give you all the black color, the green color and folders and things like that uh, this is how it keeps it all together and you have your image files you can get your uh, your advertisement in here so if you want to do an advertisement it could be 180 by 50 you can go ahead and tell them to make that you can drag it into here and edit it to your website and uh, things like that so that's actually pretty cool um, so once you get that done you're going to go ahead and open up Dreamweaver CS5 um, you can have any other uh, program uh, but we're going to use CS5 um, I'm going to continue my trial and I'm going to always start with the site new site if you're always going to start with a new site we're going to do test for YouTube and if you're going to edit your site um, you can we're going to go ahead and look for this folder here it is we're open it up now once you get into the folder it says images and you don't see anything else, you don't see the index or anything like that, just go ahead and click select. Uh, we're going to actually back out of this and click select. And that will bring it to user desktop. And this is where it's going to save all the files and everything. You can see um, I already have a thing on here set for YouTube. So we're just going to do test for video. And click save. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now what you got that done, you go ahead and open up, double click index, HTML. You can see it's right here on the side. Now, um, as you can see, this is over. Um, I don't know why this is like this, but we're going to go split view. Um, so, if you want to learn HTML, this is going to have you had it. If not, uh, you don't have to have it like this. You just go to design. But I like to have it as a split view um, to give me a look at what I'm doing over here and also over here. One of the new things in HTML uh, or Junior 5, if you highlight something in here, this will also highlight on this side so you know where you're editing. So that's actually pretty cool. If you highlight this, it tells you also if you highlight home or about. See, it also highlights in line 22, line 3, 24. Uh, so if you highlight a thing in here, this gives you this. So if you want to edit this, you can retype it right here and it'll show up right here. And uh, the picture, it tells you it's a uh, image flower sky dot jpeg so if you add a new image always add it in the image folder on your desktop that we made uh, and just rename this right here um, to the actual image so if it's let's say pokemon dot uh, make sure you name it correctly just on this I don't know why I said pokemon but that's the first thing that popped in my head um, same thing for the banner and things like that uh, so what we're going to do is actually rename this right here. So we can see here it is. We're just going to name this a test 
for YouTube. And if we click back over here, see it renames it. Uh, we can highlight this. This is just a test website. Make see it changes just like that. Um, if we highlight home. Uh, of course, home is going to be our index.html. Um, we can keep that like that. Or about, we can change this to Twitter. Um, we can change this to YouTube. And you can go ahead and start changing all this. Facebook. MySpace. Um, we can change this to Contact Me. And if you want to add a new um, a new tab, all you have to do is just copy one of these. Control C. Go to the end of uh, the last one. Go ahead and click Control V. Um, actually, what you want to do is actually click Enter, then Control V. Enter, Control V. You can see it brings up a new one. All you have to do is rename this to anything you want iPhone 4 videos and uh, once you click over here you can see it brought up a new tab we hit shift or control shift s save yes and we minimize this and we go in our folder we go into this folder and we click double click index you can see it did pop it up but you can see this is too long um, so if you want to get rid of these, you want to get rid of MySpace, you can just put iPhone channel on there. We can if you wanted to. So if you want to do that, we'll just delete all this here. Delete. Make sure you get rid of this line. And we can rename this one to keep it smaller. So it looks better. Videos from my iPhone. And we'll click enter. C. Control shift S. Enter enter minimize and we can open up the index and if we reload you can see it does that um, I'm just going to move that over so I don't have to keep opening it and if we go back in here I can see it's too long um, so I'm just going to delete some of this iPhone 4 and control shift S enter enter we'll open up the website once again just click reload and you can see everything's changed just like that. So that's basically part one of how to make a website on Dreamweaver uh, CS5 and Dropbox. Um, my next tutorial on how to make multiple tabs and get that all set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Wait for tomorrow for the next video and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Timmy Amont. And also go ahead and check out my website, TimmyAmont.tk. And also um, check out my other site. You can see this is going to be my main site. I have 146 days to make this my actual site. This is just a construction, a construction thing. And go ahead and check out the my uh, other site, your Apple ApplePlace.com. Uh, we finally got a, got a dot com. It's finally up and running. Go ahead and check it out and. Uh, Hit that subscribe button up top, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Timmy Month, and follow Yaka Place on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Yaka Place. And I'll see you guys in the next video.